Yes, I guess it is quite a shock, but I thought you'd want to hear the article before I published it, knowing how close you and the judge have been in the past few years. Well, I assume he was the only one involved. But, of course, there will be a thorough investigation, and if the investigation shows that the judge was in collusion with anyone else, well, I'm afraid the judge would probably drag them down, too. Yeah. Right. Now, listen, now, before we go, there is one other matter uh, regarding my father, Matt McCleary. It... A review? Oh, and that soon. Well, that's good. That, that, that's wonderful. Right. Goodbye. Who was that on the phone, Hogan? Hello, Cagney. That was Mike Hamill, our suddenly repentant DA. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What do you got there? That's a ticket. One way gets Dad out of jail, and the other way puts the judge in. article that's going to free Dad and put the judge behind bars? Mm -hmm. I've got to read this. Okay, okay, it's all set. I left the evidence with some very reliable people. Great. We're on a roll, partner. What is going on here? Mom, you got to check this out. This is fantastic. What is it? Hogan's written an article that's going to put the judge behind bars. See, there's no way he's going to squirm out of this, Hogan. Matt said that the judge had made more threats. Against all our lives, I know. He told me that, too. That was the last straw. That's when I decided I had to fight back. So last night, when I left here, I stopped by the police station. I talked to Lieutenant Guardian and the other officers who were on the roof the night that Hobbs confessed. They all seemed to share Joe's suspicion that the judge led Hobbs to confess to the payroll robbery. I have signed depositions to that effect. And then I called the bank, the judge's bank, in Grand Cayman. See, a while back, I took a picture of a page in the judge's ledger. There was a $500,000 deposit a few days after the robbery. That's when I got lucky. The bank found that deposit slip and had the judge's signature on it. And the denominations of the bills deposited were the same as those that were stolen. That was all the ammo I needed. I went to the judge late last night and I confronted him. You know, that man will do anything to stop you. No, he can't, Mom. I told him I'd made arrangements to have all of the evidence delivered to the FBI if he harmed anyone. If you ask me, the FBI is going to get involved in any anyway as soon as that article hits the newsstand. And I just talked to the DA. Oh, I can just imagine what he said. That's one of the judge's good buddies. You know, he's responsible for having Dad held there without bail. Yeah, he was real quiet as I read the article to him. And then he couldn't wait to tell me how soon Dad's case would be reviewed. Oh, Great. Right. All right. <laughs> Mom? I have a very strong suspicion that all the charges against Dad are going to be dropped. I think he'll be home soon. Maybe as soon as next week. Christmas music. Mom! How you doing, Joe? I've been better. Yeah. Me too. Heck of a Christmas, huh? Uh, not that I have any right to complain, really. Look at Cagney. Built his whole world around Susie, and now he's lost her. Still, he finds the strength to go on. Why can't I? You will. You'll see. Time heals. Yeah, I know they say that. Maybe not everything. I still meet Martin. I think as the night goes by, I don't see his face where she was there. 
We had a lot of good times together. Really wonderful. Life is short, Queen. Loving someone. It's all that matters. Excuse me, Joe. There's something I gotta do. It's true, Dad is going to be released, and soon. Oh, Hogan, I can't tell you how happy that makes me. It's just that... I'll get it. Oh, let me get it. Well, are you what? worried about the two of you? Is that it? Oh, oh look who's here! Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas, Joe. We've got great news. What? Dad is going to be released from jail as soon as the charges are dropped. Okay, <laughs> that's marvelous. Hi, Mom. Isn't that oh, good darling, news? You bet that is. Hogan. Super news. Do you think there's any chance that he might be released even sooner? Well, you never know. It's the season for miracles. Yeah, this family <laughs> could sure use one. Oh, it is so good to see you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, dear. I, I brought something to put under your tree oh, now. Yeah. Now you and Matt can open it together. Well, that's assuming he wants to come here. Well, of course he does. He wants to be with his family, and now it's all cleared up. Yeah, well, I'll put it under the tree. And how is my favorite boy? Okay. <laughs> yes, all ready for Santa Claus? Is Santa coming this year? You bet he is. Did you write him? Is it too late to write him? Uh, oh, for something else, why did you forget to tell him what you wanted? Tell you what, you tell us and we'll make sure he knows. I want Mommy back for Christmas. Tonight, Matlock defends a stripper, then racial tension heats up Hill Street Blues, and it's a war against phony products on 1986.